Well, hello there, and welcome to 2024. We haven't seen you all all year. It's been a long year so far. Uh, so for the first video of 2024, we just wanted to kind of give a rough layout of some of the things we're going to do this year, some of the goals that we have, some of the places that we're going to go, and all in all, just the type of things that you guys can expect to see from Riley Roams in 2024. So you may be looking at your calendar right now saying, wait a minute, it's Saturday. Why is Riley Rome's posting on a Saturday? Well, that's something new we're trying. All last year we posted on Sundays at 10 a.m. Uh, so this year we're gonna change it up a little bit and from now on we're gonna be posting all of our videos on Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. for you all to enjoy. Just thought we'd switch it up a little bit and see how that goes. Maybe it'll unlock a million views a day somehow by the magic of algorithms. So as you can see, we are home right now. This so we, is home. We have not done any traveling yet in 2024. We're actually leaving in just a little over a week for our first trip of the year. So our first travel video will come out three weeks from today, Saturday, February 17th at 10 a.m. Mark your calendars. And we will be in Ohio. Ohio. We've driven through Ohio. We went to a concert in Ohio once, but we've never really done much of anything in Ohio, and Riley's never done anything in Ohio, so we said let's go to Ohio. This year we are starting out 2024 by traveling to some states pretty close to home that we've just never really spent a lot of time in, maybe we've just driven through that Riley's never really been to. So that's what the start of our year is going to look like. And then we kind of planned out the majority of our travels for this year a few weeks ago until the fall, then it gets a little, little wishy-washy with what we might or might not be doing. Um, so after we visit some states close to home in May, we are hoping to do a big trip out west somewhere. Details to come. Um, and then this summer we're really hoping to go to Charleston because it's one of our favorite places to visit. We've never filmed there. We haven't been there in a few years. Um, we're also going to do a backpacking video, which I know we mentioned a couple of times last year we were hoping to do and it just never happened for whatever reason. Yeah, sometimes things are just kind of hard to get going. And we're also going to definitely go back to Tennessee this year because that was a big fail last year. If you recall our bus video from Tennessee, that yeah, was we... pretty much the only thing we did there because I got COVID immediately upon entering the state and didn't get a chance to really do anything. It was a pretty cool bus though. And on the way to stay in that school bus, we stopped at the Bucky's in Sevierville, Tennessee and did a Bucky's taste test video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. It was very entertaining. Uh, and you can actually see Candace progressively feel worse <laughs> as the video goes on. In the very beginning, she's all chipper and cheery like a little Bucky Beaver. And by the end of it, she's actually looking kind of pale and doesn't look good. Yeah, as we were eating the snacks, I was like, wow, I really don't, I don't feel well. I thought maybe it was the snacks I was consuming, but it turns out it was not. So we're definitely gonna go back to Tennessee this year and actually do some stuff in Tennessee to film. Um, and then Riley also didn't get her Tennessee fry when we were there, so we'll yeah. go back and redo that. Um, and then, like I said, this fall is kind of up in the air still about where we're going to go. Um, we do have a trip planned to Toronto in November that's definitely happening. And we also hope to do a Christmas market or two again next holiday season. Yeah, we went to a couple Christmas markets in New York City in 2022. We wanted to go in 2023. We couldn't really make things work. And then while we were sitting at home on our holiday vacation, uh, we got really jealous of all the people on YouTube that we watch going to all these really amazing Christmas markets. So we are definitely going to put the effort forth this time to get to a Christmas market this year. And to end our video, we kind of wanted to talk about some channel goals. Last year we posted some like like new things we wanted to try to do that yeah. year. 
It's kind of hard because like one of the things I wanted to do was go on a fan boat and we ended up not going to a state that has fan boats. So, you know, I don't feel like it was a fail. It's just, I didn't really know what to do yet. So this time we are saying channel goals that we think are a lot more accomplishable. Is that a word? Perhaps. Okay, accomplishable. So the biggest channel goal that is going to take the most amount of effort is to finish our Riley Roams website. Now you may say to yourself, wait a minute, I didn't know Riley <laughs> Roams had a website. Well, we have had it for three years and it is about that big. I think it has a picture of Riley on the front cover and we own the domain name and that's about it. Um, so that is gonna be a big undertaking for us. We feel like we've done enough traveling over the last year and a half since we started this channel that now we have enough stuff to put on the website. Uh, Candace has been travel journaling for the last couple of trips that we've been on, so we got some really cool blogs we're going to be posting. We're going to be sharing some fun stuff that we found out that might not be common knowledge on stuff. And we're just hoping it's going to be another avenue for you all to get some travel information about stuff that you're interested in going to that we've already been to. We also obviously want to continue to grow our subscribers on YouTube and our followers on social media as well. Um, we're hoping for a million by the end of the year. That's so, our goal. So if you could subscribe, that would be that would be real great. Yeah, it takes a lot of work, obviously, to grow a YouTube channel. They say the first hundred was pretty hard, and it was. Uh, the second hundred came a little bit quicker, and now we're just kind of in like a resting place. So we're just going to push ourselves a lot more to get more people uh, to subscribe and and watch what we get to do. And we're also going to make it a goal of ours to post at least one short or reel or TikTok or whatever it may be um, once a week. I feel like we kind of got into posting them last year, but it was very sporadic. Like one week we might post three and then we didn't post any for like a month and then we post one and then we fall off again. So our goal this year is to have at least one a week come out. Because we know not everybody wants to sit down or has the time to sit down and watch like a 15 minute video about something, but a short, a reel, a TikTok, whatever you want to call those short form videos, they're just a really interesting way to show off some other stuff. And like we mentioned earlier, we pretty much have a rough plan for every Saturday video uh, for the entire year. Um, so another goal of ours is to actually post a video every Saturday. Last year we did pretty well. Uh, we took some time off when we were sick. Sometimes if we were traveling, we just couldn't get a video posted. Towards the end of the year, we just kind of got burned out a little bit. Um, and so we're going to post every week and not twice a week. <laughs> we did that at the end of 2023. And I told Candace that unless we're getting paid to post videos, I never want to do two videos a week. Um, somehow we ended up posting 47 long form videos last year which is pretty darn close to once a week on average, I will say. Yeah, after our UK trip, we uh, we just got a little bit a little bit too much, too fast. We were filming basically 24-7, putting out two videos a week, posting to Instagram all day, every day. Planning our next trips for the stuff that we're going to do after that, and we just we a hit a wall. <laughs> I'm sure that's happened to many people before. <laughs> And this isn't really so much a goal as something that we've been talking about doing is posting more of like our travel stats. So I don't know that this will really be in like our YouTube videos or it might be something we post on socials or on our website once that's up and running. Um, so just like budget stuff like what we spend per trip on like Airbnbs or hotels or camping or whatever fuel. it might be, fuel, how many miles we drove, what we spend on activities, um, yeah, just stuff like that. Um, we think it will be beneficial for us to actually have that stuff kind of listed out. Um, and then, yeah, if y'all are interested in finding out what we spend on stuff, how many miles we drive, stuff like that, let us know in the comments below if that interests you. I think the mileage is going to be a real eye-opener. Uh, when we have things planned out to a T, our miles are pretty okay, but every once in a while when things go up in the air or if we have like a rainy day and we're like scrambling to get something done, it's like, huh, how did we drive 250 <laughs> miles in one day and we did nothing? So I think that'll be an interesting stat to see. And our last goal is one of our most important goals. Riley has made it her 2024 <laughs> 
I don't know if you heard that. She just sighed when I said her name. Uh, Riley's 2024 goal is to see how many more French fries she could possibly eat this year. Last year, she did really well. Um, she mm -hmm. has gotten a ton of French fries. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, every time we visit a new state, Riley gets to eat a French fry from that state. And we always work pretty hard to try to get her like a local fry. Mm -hmm. um, the only time we ever go like fast food is if it's like from that state. So like when mm -hmm. we were in Wisconsin, she got a Culver's fry and stuff like that. Just things that we don't have at home. But um, as of right now, she is on track to get nine new French fries this year. At least. Yeah, which will put her up into the 20s. Um, mm -hmm. She still has a lot of French fries to go, but she is willing to make that sacrifice for you guys and for our channel. So that's going to wrap up our first video of 2024, just kind of explaining what our year looks like, what our goals are, all that good stuff. Um, so like I said earlier, we are clearly still at home, so we have not yet traveled anywhere this year. We're leaving in just a little over a week for our first trip of the year to Ohio. So our next video and our first travel video of 2024 is coming out Saturday, February 17th at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Mark account. 10 a.m. Santa's coming to town. Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh my god! So we'll, we'll see y'all in Ohio. Thanks for watching Riley Roams. Please subscribe to our channel to keep up with all of our travels. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave us a comment below about your favorite part of this video.